Here again, you could see, like we saw in the previous case, an aorta. And this is not an H and E stain. That's why you don't see much pink in this stain. But you see a lot of dark, dark, dark blackish material comprising the majority of the media or the middle layer of the aorta. And the reason why it's so dark is that this stain is fairly specific for elastic fibers. So if you zoom in on it, which I hope we could do pretty soon, you will see that uh, this blackish area is very, very rich in elastic fibers. And elastic fibers are these nice squiggly things that you see all around here and here and here and here. And if you remember in the regular H and E stain, the elastic fibers looked quite lighter than the surrounding smooth muscle. In the elastic stain, which stains elastic dark, the elastic fibers are very dark and squiggly, and that's why the whole media looks so uh, uh, dark. And notice that most of these spindly cells here are smooth muscle cells. And notice that all of these squiggly little lines here, 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 look like little corkscrews all over the place. These are all elastic fibers, and that's why when an elastic fiber uh, extends through the a majority, if not the entire uh, media of the artery, it can be called an elastic artery. And all of the major thoracic branches of the thoracic aorta are elastic arteries. And I thank you very much.